The owner of Cajun Cannabis is in jail tonight. Travis DeYoung is facing several drug charges, including a felony charge for the manufacturing, distribution, and possession of marijuana. No bond has been set yet. DeYoung's business and truck were raided by deputies last night, just four days after that CBD store opened. Chris Walty joins us live outside Cajun Cannabis with more on what set off the raid. Chris. Hey Jim, Sheriff Mark Garber saying this was a fairly short investigation into Cajun Cannabis. They received several complaints from residents and tonight the store remains closed as the owner waits to go before a judge. Around 11 o'clock Wednesday night, Travis DeYoung, owner of Cajun Cannabis, called me to say he was handcuffed in the back of a squad car. He said the sheriff's office was searching his truck. Roughly 30 minutes later, he texted saying deputies were bringing him to his store. He says there were already sheriff's units there when they arrived. <laughs> Sheriff Mark Garber says undercover agents purchased products at the store and had them tested. Garber says those products tested positive for CBD and THC oil. Those are listed as Schedule 1 uh, narcotics under Louisiana state law. Therefore, they fall under the, under the purview of contraband and shall be seized by a peace officer. Garber says he's 100% confident the items seized from Cajun cannabis are illegal. Just because something is being offered in a retail establishment does not necessarily mean that it's totally legal to sell it. I asked the sheriff if other stores in Acadiana selling similar CBD and hemp products can expect to be raided. This is not something where we are going to check every store that sells a CBD product. We're not going searching through inventory. We didn't rush into this and just go and arrest somebody just because somebody complained. DeYoung is accused of selling narcotics outside of the store to undercover agents. DeYoung told me he was selling vapes online and delivering them to customers. Garber would not specifically answer if this is what deputies found DeYoung doing. He was selling Schedule 1 narcotic uh, products. Uh, outside a store as well and delivering Schedule 1 narcotics products that contain THC. So, you know, if you're going to do that openly, then you should expect some law enforcement interaction at some point. Many viewers voice concerns on social media saying DeYoung was targeted by deputies. That That's absurd. Yeah, we target crime. We don't, we don't we're not targeting Mr. DeYoung uh, as a person. We're not targeting his business. Uh, we're simply responding to complaints. DeYoung will go before a judge tomorrow morning around 8 o'clock. A GoFundMe account has also been set up to help cover some of his legal expenses. At last check before the newscast, more than $1,000 has been raised out of a $20,000 goal. Live in Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. And we did reach out to Alcohol and Tobacco Control for comment, but we have not yet heard back. But according to a report in The Advocate, ATC and the State Pharmacy Board have issued public notices in the last few months suggesting CBD is illegal under Louisiana law. New tonight at 6, firefighters.